Hi, I'm Indu Navar. I'm a Silicon Valley tech entrepreneur, a daughter, a mother, a wife, and more recently, a CEO of a nonprofit, Everything ALS, in honor of my husband. I lost my husband to the rare disease called ALS. And I want to start off with showing you a video of our life together. I spent many hours uh, over the years talking to Peter. Unbelievably smart, um, very deep, very thoughtful, um, uh, had a, a huge heart, um, and was somebody who uh, was just one of the more unusual people I got a chance to work with, one of the smartest people I ever got a chance to work with. So. walking through this ALS um, with my husband, uh, what I realized was our system is set up in such a way that everybody's an island. So we put together this platform and from everything ALS, we, we spent a lot of time together to say, how do we actually collaborate? We all patients come together and we can actually be the liaison and work with the researchers. And so we as a community come together to solve this. I really think there is a way for us to solve this ALS. We, we want to do this as a tribute for our loved ones. Next to me is the familiar face, uh, Peter Cohen, my dear husband, who inspires me every day. 
And what I've realized is how my entrepreneurship skills has helped me deal with my real life. I grew up in India. I grew up, uh, I was one of the three, four children. I was the third and I was the first woman. Being the first girl who's ever wanted to have a career and being educated was a, not an easy task. So I always had to, had to think about outside the box about how I would actually take my next step. Very early on, I realized I was treated very, very differently than my two older brothers because the questions that were asked to me were, you know, how to make me comfortable or treated me like a princess versus to my brothers, it was more about their career and their long-term plans. So I realized that I was treated differently when I was young. So that means I have to think about what I wanted to do very early on. So with that as a stepping stone, I realized that thinking outside the box was part of my fabric. I had to be thinking outside the box um, and not what is given my way. So I still remember the day I told my father, I want to be an engineer. There was this um, surprise as to how would a woman, an engineer survive? Um, and that passed. I convinced my parents and the next shock came in when they heard me say, I want to go to United States to get my master's. And that was like a little bit tricky because I was leaving home. I was leaving the country and I convinced them that I will find a husband. That was okay. And so the path of a woman was already set up for me as a woman is to get married, have children. It was not about career and what I could do, uh, what my capabilities were. So I had to think about what I was capable of doing myself. And that actually uh, instilled a lot of curiosity in myself about who am I and what am I capable to do? So very soon after my um, um, master's, I worked at uh, NASA and um, very soon I realized I wanted to actually be an entrepreneur. So my first journey into entrepreneurship was I was um, founding team of Healthion, which later on became WebMD. I learned a lot about what to do and what not to do being in the founding team. And then I set out to start my own company. It so happened it was 2001, early 2001. And um, this was a software company. So I realized that you know every step of the way was there are a lot of challenges that came my way. Was it 9-11 uh, and then 2008, we had another recession, but each of them taught me how to actually overcome them. What do I need to do to, again, think outside the box and all of those skills was helping me take one step at a time. And I also realized that you don't need to know the, the whole st staircase to take the first step into it. And one day I remember looking back and going, when I, you know, um, looking back and saying, wow, you know, what I had really thought in my head that I put it in a piece of paper and created a product, in my case, it was a software product, and now a large company's logos on big buildings, they're using my product and saying they're getting benefit from it. That instilled confidence. So every step of the way, it was just like a, you know, um, feedback and every step gave me what else can I do? And um, I did actually have a um, fortunate life that I had a, um, I exited the company. I sold it to another um, bigger company. And um, at that time, my husband and I joined together. It was very early on at Amazon and we started a venture together. And life was good until it was not. And he was, he was diagnosed with uh, a disease that has no treatment and he has a very short time to live and where he's losing function, as you saw in the video, every day. It changed me. It changed everything I knew about the world. But I knew what I had in me was those building blocks. What I had in me was those 
thinking outside the box, those fabric that I had learned. And I also realized the successes that I've had is just a path, it's not the destination. So what else can I do from everything I have learned to continue this journey? Unfortunately, we lost him in 2019. I realized that the defeat is temporary, but giving up makes it permanent. So I set out to do a nonprofit, which is Everything ALS. So today we, we have a team of people, we work together relentlessly because we do not want our loved ones to be a number in this disease. They will be a force that change the phase of this disease. And we have successfully brought in many researchers and the patient community. And we bring in technology innovation like artificial intelligence and data science into helping get cure for this disease and treatments for the disease. So our goal is to accelerate the way the rare diseases are looked at and the, rare, the way rare diseases are treated. We want to accelerate 50, 100 times faster. We want to accelerate the way how many people we can actually reach. So we have a big mission here and we are very, very proud of our team. I would like to say, you know, the familiar phase who is next to me, who's my dear husband, is led me to have more familiar phases, which is the Everything ALS team that I work with day in and day out. I do wanna thank my team who is, uh, who is the familiar face here. And thank you very much for inviting me to be part of this TEDx and uh, I look forward to seeing more of your familiar faces as we actually join hands as a community to find a solution for rare diseases. Thank you.